guys, Leslie here. I hope you are having a wonderful summer and welcome to our summer short series. Today, I want to talk about wisdom. To me, it is one of the two most important gifts we can ask for from the Father. Wisdom and discernment. When we think of King Solomon, we often think of him as one of the wisest men to ever live. Today, let's take a deeper look into this. Let's start by looking at 1 Kings 4.29-30. through 30. God gave Solomon wisdom and very great insight and a breadth of understanding as measureless as the sand on the seashore. Solomon's wisdom was greater than the wisdom of all the people of the east and greater than all the wisdom of Egypt. Solomon wrote most of Proverbs, and in the book of Proverbs, there are three key words mentioned over and over again that conveys Solomon's secret for success. The word knowledge, which is mentioned 41 times. The word understanding, mentioned 54 times. And the word wisdom, mentioned 57 times. Something incredible happens when these three words work together. Knowledge can be defined as the accumulation of facts. Understanding is the ability to arrange those facts. And wisdom can be thought of as the application of those facts. There can be no understanding without knowledge and no wisdom without understanding. It is a three-legged table. Without one leg, you no longer have wisdom. So how do we obtain knowledge? Well, people will often accumulate knowledge information by reading, listening to speakers, taking notes, touring historical locations, studying maps. There are many, many different ways. But most of us will never go beyond the compilation of information stage. It is important that once we receive the information, we are able to reflect on it and mentally organize it in the proper order for the appropriate situation and or setting. This is the point that journaling what one has learned is a good habit to reflect and gain a good understanding of something. Then once we have that understanding on a subject, what do you think the next step would be to translate that information into wisdom? You're right if you said prayer. Once we have an understanding on a subject, we must then pray for wisdom. We must pray for a deeper spiritual understanding. Higher education and research can most certainly give us knowledge, but only God can give us wisdom. James 1.5 says, If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives general, generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. Here James instructs us to ask God for wisdom. I believe we can all use a little more wisdom in our lives, and when we pray for wisdom, God will freely impart it to us. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for today. Thank you for your many blessings. Thank you for everything that you do for us every moment, every day. All your wonderful blessings, all the workings that you do that we don't even visually see from our vantage point. Lord, myself and everyone watching, I come to you today and I ask you to give us wisdom. I ask you to give us discernment, dear Lord. I ask that you impart these gifts upon us so that we can take that knowledge, take that understanding that we have and apply it to our lives, to different situations, to impact those around us for you, dear Lord. I love you and I pray this in your name. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us today. May God shine his face on you and your family and we will see you next week.